Hi, welcome to the channel. I hope you are having a good day. If you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I'm here to help you to increase your skills in DaVinci Resolve. And today I'm going to teach you to use the shapes tool inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can use it. So here we are in the computer in the edit page and this is an arrow created with the, the, uh, the shapes tool. If I play it, it's an animated arrow that I teach in a previous video. If you want to see it, it will be somewhere around here in the card and in the description below. Let me explain how you can use all the shapes inside of the Fusion page. So let's go to the Fusion page. I'm going to come here to the shapes. It's an empty uh, Fusion composition that I created. And now let's start by adding my background. I always like to have start with the background with the alpha to zero to see a, a see-through background or a transparent background. Now you have all of this. If you don't see the shapes, it, it's in here inside of the tools. You come here to the tools and over here, it's where it says shape. Look, you have all of the tools for the shapes. I always start by adding the S render because the S render is the node that will convert all the shapes and it will render it and convert it to a format that it will be allowed in the pipeline. So let me connect here because let me remove this. If I, for example, put an S uh, rectangle, I cannot connect it to as you can see, if I put it over here, it will not allow me. But if I connect like this and put this over here, as you can see now, it's allowing me to see the, the rectangle because it's rendered by the S render. So we, we for drawing, we have several nodes here. So we have the S rectangle, we have the S star, we have the S and gone, and the S ellipse. So you have all of this and all of them, they have their own uh, properties over here in the inspector that will change them. Uh, all of them have the offsets and the width and the height and the angle and some of them will have the corner radius like this one, but if you go to the star, you don't see the corner radius. You have the, the height, the width, and the offset, you have them. And the border width, the solid, it's all on them. The border style also. But for example, let me disconnect this and connect the star for you to see. So you have a star with the six points. If I reduce this, you have a something like a diamond and if I increase it a little bit we have a triangle and we can also increase this a lot so it goes to 20 but you can change this if you want to start with more points you can double click it select and for example 50 and now you have the 50 uh, point star of course you can use the depth to adjust the star look so if you go over here or you can go something like this you can adjust it and of course you can, instead of solid, you can unselect it and give it an outline. And now you can use the border style to adjust the star. If we go to the S and gone, we have almost the same properties over here. So you have the points. So you can, it, but in this case, it, it starts on three from the triangle to over here. And you can do the same, you can, you can change it to 50. And now you have a, a circle. But let's start with this one. Also, you can un unselect the solid and you also can do the border style. And they all have the, this position and this length. So this position and this length, this is the length that will create this effect. And the position is the where it is in the drawing. And also the offsets and the width and the height, you can adjust them like the way you want. And the ellipse, it's almost the same, but it's like 
the rectangle it has less options so you have the solid and the border width and the cap style and the position and the length so you can do it like this or you can do it like this so you have multiple options and you have the offset the width and the angle here so if you do it something like this you can rotate it and put it in the position that, that you want so let me unselect so this is the tools that you have for drawing and now the most powerful tool in my opinion is the one that allows you to combine them in different ways and this is the s boolean so you have the ellipse let's add s boolean over here you don't see anything because you don't, you do just have one so and in this case is intersection so nothing is selected but if i connect the star look what happens so it's only showing the intersection between those two shapes so we have the circle and we have the star over here so only it's showing this if i come here is it intersection if i come to the union it will unite both of the images like the merge if i come here to the subtract it will subtract one from each other because this is the main one and the say if you swap the inputs let's control t look it does the opposite okay and now you have also the xr that will as the say, the name says xr if i don't know if you know what a xr is it's a boolean operation now let's put the union you can see this of course you can only work with two if you want to use more you have to use another s boolean over here for example and now i can connect the s and gone for example and it will do the boolean operation of this res of this result with the star and as you can see it's intersection if i put union it will do this and if I put subtract, it will do this. And if I put XR, it will do this. I hope you are understanding how this works. Let me re remove this. So now let's clean this up a little bit and organize this. Now we have other tools that are important. So you have the S duplicate that will duplicate your shapes if you put this in our pipeline and if i come here you have the, the copies the offset and if i put copies to one it will add a copy but you don't see it because it's in the same place but if i come here to the offset if i move it a little bit you, as you can see you have another shape you can offset in the x and the y and you can adjust the size also look and this is the axis mode and you also can have the rotation to rotate so this is the s duplicate that will duplicate if, of course you if you increase look more you can see that more width will appear with this offset and with this scale they will be small and small because if I set the X size and the Y size is the same, they will be at the same size, okay? So let's remove this. So this is the S duplicate. And we also have one of the important ones is the S outline. It will create only the outline, okay, of the shape is the same as you when you and select the solid but in this case for it allows you to just create an outline of the uh, combined shapes this is a very important tool because if you want to create a shape with an outline you can do it like this you can duplicate it so select this over here and 
then you will use the S change style for changing the color. And now you can come here, let's select another color, for example, like this one, and connect this one, the change style to the outline. Now you can add the S merge that will merge the two together. And if I select, put this now, as you can see, you have the outline that is created here and it will, and then regular one that is created here. I hope you are understanding. And of course, if you have any doubts, just leave them down below in the comments that I will try to explain you the, in a better way. If you don't understand, please ask me. Don't be afraid that I'm here to help you. Okay, so these are the main tools. Of course, you have the expand. You can also use the expand. Let me put it over here and let me, if you come here and you expand, look, you will notice that you are expanding this and the outline is not expanded and you can change also the border and here the miter limit, you can cut the points or not. But as you can see, you have all of these tools and you have the also where it is the, the grid. Let me put here, let me come here, let me put the grid over here. And now, as you could see, it will create a grid with your previous shapes and you can change here. It has three and three and the offset. You can put the offset like 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So it will create this and number of cells five and five. And it will create all of this. And of course, you can also use here the S transform that will allow you to excise like this, so 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And if you go to the S grid, S offset, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So it will allow you to create a lot of shapes and drawings, all of that. So as you can see, it's a powerful tool to use. So as you could see, it's a useful tool. And with this tool, you can create different shapes. And with these shapes, you can create different uh, graphical elements for your videos. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Until there, bye.